Hello, and uh, welcome to the Unrestricted View Film Festival and, and uh, episode one of Meet the Directors. And today we're joined by Stuart Black. We're in fact Hello. four films in this festival, amazingly. He's got um, The Deal, which is part of a web series, and um, The 40 Foot, a short documentary, uh, The Second Hearing, and Another Day, both of which are short films. Um, hello, Stuart. Hi there. Yeah, we've taken over the festival and um, <laughs> get a couple of films by you, so thanks for that. No, no, it's all great films, great films. How are you dealing with lockdown, just before we... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're doing what we can, finishing films, basically. Um, anything that uh, was left over is now, we've now got a chance to kind of do all the post-production. So it's actually been useful from that point of view uh, and getting a lot of scripts written as well. So when everything opens up, we'll be ready to, to make some more movies. Well, that's great. So you've been really proactive then with the, with the lockdown and just making sure you're, you're ready to go. Trying, yeah. It's kind of one day off, one day on. You know how it is. Yeah, um, totally. We're doing what we can. Yeah. Oh, good on you. Good on you. So now to start with um, the deal. So it's it's a web series. Where where did the idea of that come from? So this was kind of really off the cuff. Um, one day, I think it it was about a year or so ago. It was snowing in London, mm. and I just um, I, I spoke to George Fellner, director, photo- cinematographer, friend of mine, and I said, "We've got to go and film something in the snow." And he was up for it. And so I asked a couple of actor friends, uh, Alice Henley, Justin Morosa, who have worked with on many short films, do you just want to do like a really off the cuff thing in the snow? They said yes. So we basically had a couple of hours to turn something around. So I presented them with a couple of ideas. A couple of them involved rolling around in the snow. And they said no to that, definitely no. I said, what if we do something in a car? And we ended up cooking up this kind of... um, sort of uh, drug deal in the snow, the cocaine seemed to match with the snow, everything kind of gets turned on its head within a few minutes. And that was the first episode. And then from there, it was a question of, well, what happens next to these characters? Mm. Uh, and we just kind of carried on filming in a very sort of loose, impromptu way. Fantastic. And how many episodes are there in, in, in all? There are seven altogether, uh, some of them still being edited. So this is the first one we finished, um, kind of just done, and all the rest are kind of there but they need the music and the, and the grading and all the bells and whistles to go so watch this space there'll be more fantastic fantastic and then the 40 foot tell me more about this because i mean i didn't i didn't know about this place but it, i mean it was just a, it's a tiny little short but fantastic i really enjoyed it oh great yeah well we went over to ireland to film um kind of um some fun little interviews with just anybody who had a nice um story to tell and this was one of our favorites it was um an old swimmer uh, called Bill Morrison, who likes to go swimming uh, in Dublin Bay in a particular spot called the 40 foot, uh, where they swim all year round, no matter how cold it gets. And it gets seriously cold. We were there, I think, in uh, November, uh, and I couldn't, I was in my thermals, you know, it was freezing cold, and there was him. He was, you know, in his, in his 70s, jumping in freezing icy water, still having a good time, it seems. But um, we did interview him before and after, and he was happier with the before. The after was a little bit more of a struggle for him. <laughs> I was surprised, yeah. Um, so that was lovely. So when did you? When was that shot? It was. Um... Uh, that was about a year ago as well. Um, and as I say, we went over. We did a tour um, from, I'm going to say Belfast to Cork, um, and stopped off just filming people along the way, uh, making. I think we made twenty little shorts. So the wow. rest of them are yet to be finished as well. So again, it's it's the first of a series. This one. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Um, right, we're going to go on to two shorts now, and um, the first one to talk about is the second hearing. Now, um, this because um, there was a film you had in the festival uh, some years back called No Guarantee, which again was very, uh, very um, well. It won an award for best effects, didn't it? But um, and uh, and again, this is the, the, the effects in second hearing are fantastic. I mean, is this? Tell me about that. Is that were you working with the same people again or? Yeah, yeah. So we did a little short film a couple of years ago um, and we made that in 48 hours and threw as many VFX as we could into the mix. That was no guarantee, which you you kindly um, awarded as well uh, a few years ago. And we worked with the exact same team. We wanted to expand it, be a bit more ambitious, a bit more money into it. And so this is a a longer film um, uh, with basically the same team. So they're all in there. And the VFX is by Christoph Mavridis, who's a a brilliant cinematographer editor. He kind of knows exactly where he's going to slot the visual effects into. Um, So it was really easy from that point of view. We just let him take care of it. And, you know, he had as much fun as he did. And um, that's why it looks as good as it does, I think. So were you green screening a lot when you were shooting or? 
No, no. Um, we were cre creating plates that we could then put things yeah. onto. Uh, but we only used green screen, I think, once. And I'm not even sure it was used in the final film. So everything was just kind of there on set, people reacting to spaces that we could drop effects into. Fantastic. Fantastic. And, um, Good acting. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and the final one we'll talk about, Another Day. Now, this obviously is a very um, important subject you're dealing with there. And do you want to tell us how you came up, up with... Um, with that script? Yeah, so this is, this is a bit different from the others. Um, very cons considered from our point of view. Uh, we want to do something serious, a drama. Uh, and this one deals with mental health and suicide. And it's an issue that I think everybody in the team has had some connection to, whether it's a friend or a family member who's struggled with this, or in some cases, you know, it's, it's overwhelmed them. So we wanted to shine a spotlight on that issue and uh, raise awareness, really. So it's a story, it's a drama that kind of looks at it from a slightly unusual point of view. Um, I don't really want to give too much away, but hopefully if people watch it, then it will, you know, open that topic yeah. and uh, allow people to sort of have a, have, a, have a conversation about something which is also often quite a bit awkward and not many people realise how big a problem it is. Um, so the idea really is to just get people talking. Yeah, well, it's a beautiful film and very beautifully made, I thought. Well done. Thank you. And, that's all, and, and a really... A really um, unusual and uh, and emotional approach to it as well. I think you know, seeing it through the eyes of the the, the person left behind was very special. Um, yeah, and again, I, I should sort of just shout out all of the team involved in it, but particularly Alice Henley, who wrote, produced it with me, and um, she she gives a fantastic performance, yes. doing doing you know so much with just kind of internalizing what's happening in the story. It's exactly. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not wordy, is it? But um. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, you can never say that script was overwritten, I think. Um, well, I mean, to be honest with you, slightly because, you know, some of the scripts in the past have been so wordy. It was an attempt to strip that back and just kind of get back down to, to real cinema yeah. and, and real emotion. And, and she's the perfect actress to do that because yeah. I know, it's you know, great. She, she, she moves so well, brilliantly. Yeah, well, well done. Well done, all of you. Oh, so that's a fantastic one. Uh, well, thanks, Stu. I'm, I'm going to, there's going to be a, a, a a slide up after this explaining when each of those are on and and how to buy tickets but uh, but thank you so much i just want to ask you a quick fire question now so we can learn a little bit more sure. about you um who is your favorite director uh, i'll go for billy wilder um not all of his films but there's there's so many great ones in there that you know growing up i, I used to love watching those and i still go back to them when you have a lockdown and um, yeah. you don't know what else to do so yeah billy wilder i'd say fantastic favorite movie um, maybe sort of from the same kind of era, Sweet Smell of Success, another wordy one, but, um, you know, really good fun, noir thriller. Yes, yes, it's very good. TV show? Uh, oh, that's tricky. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I have, I enjoyed The Wire. Um, what am I enjoying lately? Uh, Ozark's pretty good, but, um, I'm a film person, really. More yeah. Than TV. Okay, uh, all right, one last one, um. Is there a sort of film you wish that you'd had directed? One of your favourites, you go, I wish I'd directed that. I would have loved to go at that. Uh, oh, that's a tricky one. I mean, I'd like to direct, I'm writing features at the moment, so I'm gonna, you know, that's all I'm focusing on. But um, yeah, every film I watch, I kind of enjoy and think, oh, I wish I could have done that. Would I have done it the yeah. same way? But um, I'll be corny and say The Godfather, like pretty much everybody else, a perfect <laughs> film. So I, I, I'd go for that one if I could have it on my CV. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, mate. Um, thanks for speaking to us, Stuart. And, um, Thank and thanks for having your films in the festival. It's a pleasure. Yeah. And I'm um, looking forward to sort of seeing the audience reaction. And thanks so much for showcasing us. Not at all. Thank you. And uh, here's how you can see those films. And you can see Another Day and The 40 Foot on Friday the 17th of July and The Second Hearing and The Deal on Saturday the 18th of July. And now there's a trailer from our lovely sponsors at Free At Last TV, with a wonderful show, Agatha Raisin. Thank you. Death threats juicy enough for you? I hope you're not the amateur busybody that the police say you are. Right. Well, I'll show them. I thought I might take up a new hobby. The mating dance. Hot and reckless. I have something to confess. Um, deadly. Ah! We all set on the plan? All clear. Mingle. Eyes. Ears. Rogering that. I can assure you that I can get to the bottom of this. We're never so professional, Fee. 